All right, I guess we'll go with the first one then. I think that's definitely your only option really, isn't it? All right. All right, this one. The creative art box. Ugh. We spend a lot of time in the kids section looking for random things that we can make art videos out of and, and challenge myself with, but I find myself in the children's section and weird parts of Kmart a little too often. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. G'day everyone and welcome to the start of our work week. Today I'm going to have fun with my creative art box. I have an idea as to how I'm going to use this because this has a bunch of random stuff in it from crayons to coloured pencils to washable markers to washable paint. So this should be very interesting, but I have sort of an Alice in Wonderland-y theme I want to go with, so that should be fun. Um, I'm just setting up the shoot, so I want to do a few things. I want to set up a time-lapse with my GoPro, sort of a, my GoPro, my GoPro, sort of like a top-down, something like that, so I can just have that as one constant super speed thing that I can take from if I want it, but otherwise I'll do a, the majority of my filming with this thing, which is my floppy top-down camera. I need to tighten that up a bit. Uh, and I'll set up my face cam to be my actual um, high resolution camera and I'll use my battery plug thing. This thing is super useful. This allows me to plug my camera into a PowerPoint rather than trying to make batteries last the whole thing, which is way off my mind. <laughs> so my setup's pretty ready to go. Face cam, uh, that's my stream face cam, so I won't be using it. Microphone, top down cam, and GoPro, which I'm gonna angle over here when I've done my intro. Editor. Lee, I'm gonna uh, slide this on slow, and then I'm gonna look up slow, and then in, in post, I want you to put them up together with a PIP of the face in the corner, with them both sort of looking up or coming in at the same time with dramatic music. Let's do this. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazz. I'm. <clears throat> G'day, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazz. I'm Jazz, and today we're gonna have a bit of fun with this creative art. So I don't want to give away too much, but I'm creating a bit of a whimsical piece and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. It's got a very textured feel and it's very time consuming. I've been doing this for about four and a half hours now, listening to an audiobook and uh, chilling out. It's been pretty cool. It's been a while since I've done a, a piece like this or with this specific little trick and that is that I'm creating lots of little parts that I'm going to be layering and creating a bit of a depth effect, which is pretty cool. So today's video is going to come to a bit of a wrap up without me being able to show you much because otherwise that would spoil the artwork, but it turned out really cool. So that being said, the only other thing I have to update you guys on is that today's video is delayed till tomorrow because Friday's video has done really well and it sort of kills a performance of a video when you upload the next video. So we're going to let that breathe a bit and I'll upload it tomorrow, which is the character design session. Plus the stream is tomorrow, but I'll be starting a bit late because I'm picking up Lee, who is our editor and assistant. Uh, so instead of a 9am start my time, it'll be 10am. Yeah, we're like on a bit of a content crunch because at the end of the month I'm away for a week, but this time it's doable to have three videos a week and to crunch uh, and get content done ahead of time because I have help. <laughs> it's amazing. So I'm picking up Lee. He's just been so great and I hope he sees this, Lee. You're amazing because I just re reviewed the edit of tomorrow's video and it's just the fact that I can be more hands-off is incredible. It's incredible. And this guy is editing through my editing language, which he has adapted and been very careful to be considerate of. So it's so great. Last Friday's video, the one that's performing well, was edited almost entirely by Lee, you know? So it really paid off, I think, to have him come here last week and to both really hammer down on the communication style and my editing in my videos so he can start to do it for me, which is awesome because I spent the whole day today making content and uh, I didn't edit, I, I made like five minutes worth of tweaks to what he did, which was several hours work where he saved me. So anyways, huge shout out to Lee. Thank you so much. Question of the day I'm gonna take from Katie Vaughan Borghan. Sorry, I ruined your name. Who says, do you have any advice on how to edit videos if you're a total newbie, like the most basic yet important advice, what are the most important things to consider? 
In the process of hiring the, the editor that we have now and, and sifting through a lot of ap applications, it also has taught me that there are lots of different editing styles. So as far as basic advice, basic yet most important advice, I can only give you my perspective, which is from the perspective of a YouTuber and YouTube as a platform. Entertainment is key and pacing is key on the platform because if you lose people's attention, they go. So it depends what sort of content you have. Uh, and if it's real eye candy content, you can slow your pace a bit because that's going to keep people's attention. Someone's printing something. Um, but otherwise, with my kind of content, with like, you know, the activities, and especially with talk to camera stuff, excluding the vlog because I can't be bothered editing these, so I tend to just talk fast and, and make mistakes anyway, uh, it's, it's really pacing. So a few basic tips I would say to keep in mind if you're editing YouTube videos would be to edit audio first. So watch the waveforms and edit so that there's constantly, especially talk to camera stuff, a, a flow and a, a, an ear catching uh, flow of content. You'll find that a lot of YouTubers cut before the end of a word and before the, sorry, after yeah, no, before the end of the word and after the beginning of a word, and they sort of, you'll find that cuts often lay into each other and overlap a bit. Um, watch Liza Koshi. She does this phenomenally to great comedic effect. So that would be the first thing. The second thing would be audio is always way, 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 way more important than video. You can have a grainy meh video, but if your audio sounds crap, people are not going to stay and listen. So that's an important one. Uh, echo and all that stuff, you know lay down some rugs, put down some tapestries, whatever it takes, lay some towels on some racks and just stop the bounce in the room. Um, they're the main ones, but I guess the final most important thing to consider is content is king. Make good stuff, be entertaining and keep making it because you're always going to get better and you're always going to look back and say, man, I sucked, but just do your best. Anyways, that is it for today's video. It's like... <laughs> Words, see? And I'm not going to edit this out because I'm lazy. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today's vlog, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I guess we'll pick up tomorrow in the stream and pick up Lee from the train station. They're the things we're picking up. See you then.